Welcome back to our design innovation. My name is Brian and I received a lot of emails over the last week or so of folks asking me to show a simple engraving done in XCS software using the nuances of the software, the marking and the focusing, etc. And then show the difference using Lightburn with the focusing and using the camera method. So that's what we're going to do today. Not a long video, something simple, just to give you food for thought to see the differences. So let's move over to, to XCS first and we'll go from there. Okay, let me bring up XCS. While that's coming up, let me just enable this other camera. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, this is the piece of wood we're gonna use. Just a piece of scrap wood, nothing crazy. So you, just to see what's going on, okay? Okay, XCS came up. Let me disable this for a sec. Okay, new project. And actually, um, first thing we're going to do is focus the lens. So let's leave this on so you can see everything that's going on that I go through. So we go there on the screen up here. Reset it. Yep, I bumped it when I hit the wooden. A second ago, let's reset. Focus again. There we go. Okay, so we have that focused. Okay, now what we're going to do, let me turn off my face per se because I think it's laggy because of the other camera. Okay. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark rectangle and I'm going to pick maybe right over here okay so I'm going to start marking I'm going to pick from here and then I'm going to go how about down to here something right there okay now here's the problem I don't, I was talking to you, I didn't pay attention of where I marked. That's one issue, is if you're not really paying attention, you're not gonna remember where you marked. The other thing is, as you see, this is a big board. In order to use this whole space, you gotta mark every area of the board. You know, if I'm engraving over here, or if I'm engraving here or here or there to use the space, that's what becomes the pain, I'll say, is having to mark all these different areas as you're working out through the project or projects so you don't waste material because resources are expensive and we don't want to waste anything. So anyway, let's continue. We'll say done here. Now I'm going to put in here, we'll say letter O. Okay move this again in relation to that box looking at the screen right here I don't I don't know the size difference I don't know what this is without measuring it you know I, I know I get an X and a Y and I can calculate that but quickly looking at this I can't tell you if this is five inches seven inches eight inches or two inches but we're just gonna go with it so let me just close this up put this here We'll say, uh, I gotta pick one thing I forgot. Let me pick the bass. I'm going so fast for you. Pick that. And I'm gonna pick here. Let me do a score. We'll do that one's a good one. So again, we measured, we marked, and I had to also pick the bass wood because that's the, the material we're engraving on. So we get the proper power settings, DPI settings, and speed. Process. Okay, start. Okay, it's engraving. Nothing spectacular. You see the circle now. No big deal. Now what we want to do is, let me go back. I want to put something within there. So I'm going to do here. I'm just going to say one. Obviously that's too big. Now, if I wanted to put this in here like this and zoom in a little bit and play with the sizing, 
get it in here like this looks great i'm going to delete the circle but if i didn't have that circle there or kept it there i would not know where to place that one so think of it this way is if you had that circle on the board as it is there now and you came back tomorrow you start a new project and you say hey i could use that circle there let me cut it out you couldn't do that you'd have to remark it and hope that you can line up the graphic perfectly. Very difficult to do because you're not seeing. But let's keep going. Just to show you, I got in the middle. I used that circle as a guideline. But again, if you came back the next day and you wanted to do it and you didn't have this project open anymore, you didn't save it, you couldn't be able to get that one in there like that. You wouldn't be able to it's impossible to get it perfectly now i know folks are going to say well i can mark it i could do that but it'll take you longer to mark it especially you have 10 of those circles on that you got to line them up and you have a project saved. that's my opinion but it's just experience i've been doing this for a long time okay so let's exit out xcs now change this yes we're not going to need what i'm going to say nope cancel that Okay, I brought up Lightburn, and the first thing I want to do is move the laser over so we can focus. That's fine. Console, focus. While that's doing that, I think I want to put something right over here. I don't want to waste space. Say this was something expensive. I'm going to put, say, one, and then I'm going to do two okay now I'm gonna make these a little smaller I'm gonna put it right here let me do this I'm gonna do one say you're doing something on a tab project I don't know let's say zooming all the way in I'm gonna do it on this little tab I don't want to waste it and I'm gonna do the two right here now let's do our layers pick the speed and everything like that first thing I want to do is I want these to be a fill so you can see them well so here's the library materials library that you can use in Lightburn for those that are not familiar with it you can create all different types of materials that you use you create the thickness if you're scoring or like jeans cutting engraving etching whatever it is once you find the setting that works for you you save it in here and that's how you build your library just like an XCS so I'm gonna pick this just doing it fast I, and this is a new library for me since this is a I did a new installation of Lightburn since I'm using the release candidate 5 I wanted to start from scratch to make sure there were no issues so I'm gonna do a speed of 250 and I'll do um, 35 actually 235 we'll do that okay and if you want to see what you're gonna engrave you hit alt p there you go turn this off here for now um i think we're good we did our focus Let me show you camera control down here and now we'll go what i have come up here is just a reminder for me make sure my focus is complete which we did my exhaust fan i have an inline exhaust fan going out of the workshop and then I have the air, air assist on. And then I hit go. It's doing the two first. And then it'll do the one. It's almost done. This is, you know, two little numbers. So as you can see, we didn't have to mark, we didn't have to go through anything, and I could zoom in and pick where I wanted to go. So I'll update the overlay. Is that guy you see a little afterburn I probably should have gone a little less power but there you are now let's do this so you can see the difference of using the camera system let's see if I can make this I don't know if you'll be able to see this I'm gonna put it right in there so we're way out, if you think about it. We're all the way out here. I'm zooming in. Hopefully that doesn't drive you crazy. I'm going to put a one in here. Let me change the power a little bit. So I think that was a little too high. Let me go 30. 
See if that's a little better so I don't get a little overburn, which I'm saying. Okay, looks good. Laser, let's start again. Yes. And again, I'm just putting the one inside the two, just to show you the idea and the capabilities, how easy it is. Okay, still a little off the burn, but it's so small. Yeah, you, you get the idea. If I take it out, um, no, I could even barely see it with my eye. Actually, it was, it's like a dot. Um, let me do one more for you. Let's go over to, let's make this a little bigger. We'll do, uh, we'll do just one here. Like that. Turn it a little bit and shrink it. Right here. Now let me just put the power up a little bit. This wood over I forgot is it's a really hard bass wood. We do 40. Okay. Yes. And you can see how fast it is just to move things around. Just to engrave where you want to engrave without having any problems. Almost done. Okay, finishing up. Okay. Okay. There you go. So, where you want it to engrave, the size. And let me take this out. I could grab it. And there you go. Hopefully, there's the one. And I don't think you're going to be able to see that little one I did inside the two. You see a little dot? That's how small it was. So pretty amazing what you could do. Well, I hope this answered the folks that emailed me to show the differences of using XCS versus using a camera system with Lightburn. Thank you. Again, send those questions to rldesigns.innovations at gmail.com or ping me on the YouTube site. Please subscribe and thumbs up. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.